Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here. The internet's hate. Kill, Kill me. me. Andy, if you sprinkle your food with this bathroom cleaner over here, the sweet release of death will come very soon. <laughs> and it's time for the most arduous segment on this channel, the Why You Know Review, where I go through, in brief, uh, a series of records that I did not give a formal review to over the past month, but I wanted to cover them quickly uh, before we go too deep into the next month in this video right here. So let's get started. This record is, is pretty much a series of very pretty, slow, glazed over, slightly noisy and shoegazy 90s throwbacks, some decent songwriting and vocals. Um, there just wasn't anything in terms of sound that really stood out to me on this record. It just kind of felt like a bit of semi-flat revivalism. You know, it doesn't really add anything to the sound that she was going for on this project, but if you're looking for another installment of uh, that sort of hazy, noisy, 90s pop rock, alternative rock sound, then you'll probably be into this. On this project, these guys have essentially made the transition from being a punk band to a kind of bland power pop band. I mean, I like some of the anthemic guitar leads and the heavy rhythm guitars. Reminds me a little bit of Weezer, but the songs, especially the lead vocals, are just a little lackluster. If you're the kind of hip-hop fan who raves about bars and hasn't bought a rap record since, like, 2003, then you're gonna love this thing. You're gonna love the shit out of this thing. It's not bad. It just seems like it's running on old software. That's all. I know that there are gonna be some super self-serious post-metal fans that are pissed off at me for not giving this record a formal review, but I just don't really have that much to say about this album. I mean, I like some of the noisy guitar embellishments and the dissonant guitar chords. It's one of the few elements of flavor in the mix on this record because the bass, the boomy over-compressed drums, and the growl vocals uh, really aren't that dynamic or versatile. Uh, don't really add too much to the later tracks that they didn't already put in on the first track. I like some of the droney interludes on this album too, and I do appreciate that the mix is very heavy. It is crushing, but musically there's not too much to this album. And I understand why the band is trying as hard as they can to make it sound like a caveman wrote this thing. It's their style. It's just not really a style that I care for, or at least if, if I were to listen to a band go down this road, I would want it to be much noisier and much more abrasive than their actually being here. Members of Deerhoof and Neutral Milk Hotel come together into this duo collaboration for a very fun, quirky, somewhat spazzy, a little instrumental rock album consisting mostly of drums and guitar. And it's pretty cool, and it's pretty fun, and despite the fact that you're hearing just two instruments most of the time, the album is pretty dynamic. They take uh, their lack of layers to the extreme and that they can really kind of push these compositions anywhere and make uh, very fast, unpredictable changes to their performances. However, I can't help but feel like some of these tracks feel more like inconsequential motifs than they do fleshed out, satisfying songs. Still though, if you want to hear two of the most talented performers in the indie world come together for a surprise collaboration uh, with some pretty creative results, then give this thing a shot. First, these guys, when they break, they want to sound like Led Zeppelin, and now on this new record over here, they sound like a watered down the doors. I just, uh, I'm not getting it. I'm not, it's not appealing to me. Uh, 10 years since their first full-length record, and this band still does nothing for me. This thing is kind of inconsistent, but it's still a, uh, a good, but also bad, so bad that it's good, animalistic and abrasive noise rock record. Uh, I wish it was a little more in your face. I wish it was a little more energetic. Sometimes, uh, despite the awesome textures and sounds that go into this thing, it sounds like the band is trying a little too hard to sound cool, like they're too cool to 
try to impress you or be emotional. Uh, but still, some of the guitar sounds, the drums, the noises on this record are pretty refreshing and interesting if you're into noise rock, if you're into goth rock, if you like contemporary bands like Grave Babies. This album kind of reminds me of like old Waves records too, but more warped, more odd, kind of psychedelic. There are some cool things about this record, some cool ideas on this album, and I'll be looking to see if the band sort of teases, I don't know, a, a, a more solid album out of these ideas in the future. <sighs> Earlier this year, I was so excited because Snoop Dogg had dropped a good track with the song Late Nights, which I thought was a tasteful throwback to his doggy style days. But now that this new album has come out and I'm hearing it from beginning to end, this thing is a total mess. Not only is Snoop Dogg again trying to bring back his glory days, but he's doing it so awkwardly uh, with these completely unmemorable drab flows, production that doesn't really celebrate how great the G-Funk era was. It sounds like a, a kooky rehash of the G-Funk era. It sounds like too cartoony for Snoop Dogg to be on, talking about like crip shit and uh, uh, making all these sort of, you know, braggadocious, violent bars. And the song My Cars is easily one of the worst things I've heard this year. And I think that's gonna do it for the- uh, What are you doing, wuss? You haven't talked about me? Review me! I've been thinking about it. I'm gonna do it eventually. Just gotta give me time, you know? It's just your long album, okay? Tran. Position. And that has been the Why You Know Review, ladies and gentlemen, on this page. You can find a link over there where you can watch the previous Why You Know Review and check out the Why You Know Review playlist because I have made lots of these videos over the years and people tend to like watching them. Seems to be a pretty solid <laughs> crew of people who enjoy watching me suffer in this series. So I appreciate it, guys. Really appreciate it. You're the best. Love ya. Love ya lots. Forever.